Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are here to look at some items and we're looking at back to school stuff. I know I've done a lot of that lately. The reason I'm doing so much of it is because um, I have gathered up some stuff for a family of three kids and I want to have time to get everything to them. So I have I have purchased school supplies, but there were also some other items that the kids needed. So I went ahead and got those things as well. And today we're going to be focusing on one, one of them. We're going to focus on the 12 year old, Aubrey. And that's not her actual name, by the way. Um, okay, so school supplies. We've already looked at everything I've purchased. You might have even gone shopping with me. Um, but I'm going to show you the items that were specifically for her. Now she is. Uh, 12 she's going into the seventh grade and um, I kind of dressed in honor of her today it's kind of hard to tell but I have on this purple top she her favorite colors are purple and black she doesn't like brightly colored stuff like neon or anything like that so I put, I put together a little out, outfit that I did <laughs> that I thought she would like if, you know, just in honor of her stuff today. I have purple and black bracelets here. I have, this is just plain silver. I have these giant purple earrings that I never get to wear. Look at these giant. They're big, but they're lightweight, so they're, they're not heavy at all. And a black top, so we just wanted to dress in a way that I thought she would like to, to showcase her items. Now we're going to be doing the other two in separate videos. The reason I started with this one is because I have all of her stuff already. I had to order a lot of it online and not quite all of it is here yet, but I have all of her stuff. So I thought, I think the way it's going to work out, I'm, I should get the rest of it either tomorrow or Monday. I'm hoping to get it tomorrow. I'm just waiting for a couple things, but I'm hoping I can get everything in time to do the eight-year-old tomorrow do that video and then do the six-year-old's video Sunday if the stuff comes. So I'm hoping that it will. Anyway, that's why we're starting with the 12-year-old. So it's very exciting, school starting, and I'm going to show you the school supplies first. And as I do with my all the videos, I start with the crinkly items first. And we have this. We looked at these last night. If you watched my video last night, we're going to alternate these between whispers and soft spoken because some people like one or the other. So we're just going to kind of go back and forth. So since I did um, whisper last night, I'm not going to do it tonight. But I'll do it tomorrow night. So she required a pack of pins in either blue or black. And we have the big crystal extra smooth pins. Aren't they beautiful? These are actually great pins. I remember using these in high school myself. You get 10 pins in here and this was the first pack that I saw. So this was the one that I got. Extra smooth. It's not like a razor but it's a pin. Big crystal and they're up to 35 percent smoother. I don't know how they came to that 35 percent figure since they don't tell us what they're comparing it to. They could be comparing it to a block of sandpaper but we'll never know. It's 35 percent smoother than something. Uh, there are some ellipses after that. No asterisk. Just up to 35 percent smoother than maybe your pickup lines. I, I don't know. Extra smooth. That's all we need to know. So we have a pack of pins. They are quite delightful. The little, the little big man there with that, the ballpoint, you know, the ballpoint pin. There's a ballpoint. He has a ballpoint head. And the pen is as big as him. It looks like he's been stabbed with the pen if you look at the little man. I'm overthinking these pens. So that's that. The, I think really the only other crinkly thing we have would be two packets of post-it notes. She required her list of school supplies asked for two packs of post-it notes of any size. 
So we have acquired these post-it notes. Super sticky. These are three inches square. Now I know she doesn't like bright colors, but she's, I mean, these are probably going to go into the school supply cabinet. More than likely the teacher's going to use them and not her. Um, and you know, it's kind of hard to find post-it notes in, in colors that are not, you know, that, that are not brightly colored. I mean, you can find them, but it's, it's a little difficult. So we have yellow and blue right here. Two packs of post-it notes. Yeah, so two of those. She also needed some highlighters. Now the list only called for three. She needed three highlighters of different colors. But I found these really cool Sharpie highlighters. It's a pack of all these nice colors. And she can pick. We have blue, green, yellow, orange, and pink. Of course, a highlighter is not going to be a dark color, but can't really do a lot about that. Now, these you'll notice have these little lines. These are liquid highlighters, and they have an ink indicator. Isn't that nice? And I, yeah, they have these nice little tops on them here, the little caps right there. And they have a chisel tip and a little hole in the bottom. So you could put them on a necklace if you want, whatever you want to do. So she only needed three. This way she has a little bit more of a choice. She has five total and she can just highlight to her heart's content. I think these are nice. I kind of I kind of want some like this. I have some highlighters that are, um, they're, they're like a gel. It's like a gel highlighter. It almost has the consistency of a glue stick, but it's highlighter and they're pretty cool. I use them in my work. I do actually have a day job, not this. And I, I use highlighters sometimes in my day job. All right. She also requires two packs of pencils and the list did specify. The list said, preferably Ticonderoga, and that's that's what I bought. I bought multiple boxes of Ticonderoga pencils for the three kids because they all three had pencils on their list. And in my opinion, the Ticonderoga pencils are among the best. I'm not saying there are no other good brands, but these these are pretty good, and they do seem to be a teacher favorite. I know with my kids, that seems to be very popular with their teachers. Speaking of which, I did obtain their supply lists yesterday. So we're going to be doing some shopping for my kids' school supplies coming soon. I'm not sure when, but we're going to do that the first chance I get to go do it. I want to go ahead and get this all sorted out and get this delivered before I start on my kids' stuff though. It says here that this is the world's best pencil. I don't know how you determine that. It's kind of like those world's best dad mugs or world's best boss or how do you really know? You know, are you going to do any investigation, any digging to figure out who decided that? I have a feeling Ticonderoga did that. There's no little trademark on it or anything. The world's best pencil. Well, I do happen to agree, but I don't know. I mean, you get right down to it. It's a pencil. That's interesting. I just noticed with this pack, there's a number up here. It's X13924. And this one just has 13924 with no X. And the back is a little different. That's interesting. I don't know. It must have been part of two different displays or something. So we have two packs of these lovely, oh, their erasers are a little different. They're slightly different colors. It doesn't matter. I'm overthinking the pencils as well. So we have two nice packs here of Ticonderoga pencils. Each pack contains 24 pencils. So those are going to go with her. We also needed a ruler. And again, this is all stuff that we saw last night. Unless you don't like when I whisper. And then if you didn't watch it. This is all new to you, unless you watch the shop with me. If you watch that, then it's not new to you. It's bound to be new to somebody. It's not new to me. These bags have been sitting on the floor in my room since I bought the stuff. It's all in my room. <laughs> this is a metal ruler from Westcott, and it has cork on the back. 
and like like I mentioned before, I like these rulers better because they are more sturdy. See, they don't, it's not as likely to get broken as one of the plastic rulers. It only costs a little bit more to get one of these as compared to the plastic rulers. And I just find that these are better. Um, I bought my kids these, I don't know, a couple of years ago. And you, I haven't had to replace them. Like they, they still have the same rulers. So I got my money's worth out of them. Now her list called for folders with pockets, four of them, red, green, yellow, and blue. Now when we, when we went shopping originally, um, I was not able to find them. It, well, they didn't have all the folders out yet. I wanted to get plastic folders. They had a lot of paper folders out, but not all of the plastic ones. So I went to a different store and was able to find them. Now these, three of these are from Pen Plus Gear. And you'll see that when you open it up, you're going to have two folders or two pockets inside this folder. And it has holes in it if you want to put it in a binder or something like that. Now these folders are a little bit more expensive than the paper. But in my experience, they're much more durable. They're going to hold up way better throughout the school year. You probably won't have to replace them. I know in the past when I've bought my kids paper folders, they just, they just don't hold together very well. And I end up having to replace them. And sometimes finding, like if I, you have to find a green folder in the middle of the school year, you may have to go to a couple of stores before you can find one. Right now it's pretty easy, but on over in January it might not be so easy. But look at this pretty blue. Ooh, I love that blue. It's gorgeous. Isn't that nice? And again, we have our happy little pockets inside. And these also have the holes in them if you want to put them in a notebook or in a binder. I was not able to find a red one like this, but I was able to find this one. This is a Mead 5 star pocket folder. These are nice. But it's red and it needed to be red. See? And this one's a little extra fancy. Look at these pockets. You have a, a pocket inside the pocket. You have pocketception right there. And you have you even have these little pieces here that will hold the papers down. So you, you have a few papers in here. You can tuck the corners right up in there and and it'll keep them from flopping over or falling out I really like that feature that's nice it's very nice so these are her folders for the year her four folders that they asked for I was able to obtain those she also needed a pack of graph paper this as you can see is a loose leaf paper with holes in it. So you could put it in a binder. Now this is from Nor Norcom, which is a common name that you're gonna see on a lot of loose leaf paper. 80 sheets of graph paper. This is five by five graph ruled quad filler paper. It is eight inches by 10 and a half inches. So it's slightly smaller than your, your standard U.S. Uh, piece of paper. Of course, if you're in Europe, you have the A4 paper, which is taller and thinner. It's like the runway model version of our paper. Ours is 8.5 by 11, and A4 is slightly slimmer and slightly longer. Yes, often I get documents from uh, clients in different parts of Europe, they're always A4, and if I'm going to use them here, I have to remember to resize them. Yeah. So this is our graph paper. It's really pretty. I like this lovely little happy yellow stripe right here. It's nice. We also had to get two packs of college-ruled loose-leaf paper. And we did. It has to be college-ruled. Now, they, you do, when you're buying school supplies, you want to make sure that you look at that when it comes to notebooks, loose leaf paper, even uh, composition books. You want to make sure that you get the right type. Now, there's wide rule 
and college rule. College rule, of course, the lines are going to be closer together. The wide rule is, of course, wider, so they're further apart. We have these two packages of loose leaf college ruled paper, fresh from Norcom. I remember getting at my mom when I would go school back to school shopping with my mom, even when I was a kid. This is typically, well, whatever was cheaper, that's what I would get. I would get the cheap paper, just whatever was cheaper. Um, but yeah, this is 150 sheets per pack, and it was quite inexpensive. I don't even think it was a dollar. Per, it might have been a dollar. I don't remember, but it wasn't much. This is a really good time of year to stock up on things like this. And we had to also purchase two composition books. And these also had to be college ruled. We bought some for the first grader. Hers had to be wide ruled. But these are for Aubrey, the 12 year old. You get 100 sheets in here. This is a marble composition book. I think we're all pretty familiar with these. I remember using them myself. I like it. You can put a, they have a little place in here where you can put your class schedule. Oh, this even has web references, like general references and research sites. That's nice. Very handy. And of course you have the two lines here where you could put your name and maybe the subject or whatever you want to put. But they are both college ruled. This one has it in white. This one has it in black. That's interesting. I just noticed that, but they're both college ruled. So we have her composition books. She also required a one subject notebook with um, pockets on the inside of the notebook. Now for those, I find the best one to go with is the five star from Mead. And that's what we have here. Now I tried with stuff like this. I tried not to get brightly colored covers. This one has a navy blue cover on it and it is college ruled. I had to make sure of that as well. It needed to be college ruled and it has in it, when you open it up, you're going to see this right at the front right here and there's a pocket on this side and then you flip it over and there's a pocket over here too and then you get into the actual paper for the notebook here and of course since it's college rule the, the, the uh, lines are going to be closer together and I really like the Mead uh, 5 star because they have these poly covers again like the folders they're very durable. They hold up great throughout the year. And again, I tried to focus on getting darker colors since she doesn't like brightly colored stuff. So I got her that. And she also needed a five subject college ruled notebook. And we got that too. Now these, I find it's very useful to get a good, sturdy, good quality notebook. Um, and honestly, there aren't a lot of choices for these particular types of notebooks. You really kind of have to get these. I, I would get these anyway because these hold together so well. These are really well made. This is what I get my kids. You know, this is it. So this is a five subject college ruled notebook from Five Star. And you can see that it's got a lot in there and you have those little pockets for each of the five subjects that you can use this notebook for. And that nice poly cover. Now this one has a black cover because she likes purple and black. I tried to find some in purple, but I wasn't able to. I had the hardest time finding anything in purple for her. I just, there's not much purple stuff out there. I noticed, I never really thought about it. I never, it's not something I've focused on really until I, because I was trying to find things in purple or black or both for her. I had the hardest time. But one other things, one of the other things that she needed were tissues. She needs two boxes. And as I mentioned in the other video, I purchased this package of puffs plus lotion. And one of the other kids also needed two boxes of tissues. So I'm going to use two for her and two for the other kid who needed tissues. So this pack, I'll just give it to them like this and then they can break it up and split it up that way. 
So these are the ones I like and that's, I always try to get the stuff for the teachers that I would want to get, stuff that I like. But see, I can just give them this and then they can just split it up. Oh, and she also needed a binder, a three inch binder. I also found that in black right here. This is, uh, it holds up to 635 sheets. That's crazy. This is a heavy duty binder with a clear cover for ex a heavy duty for extended use from Avery. It even has a dura hinge that resists tears. I guess that's this thing right here. It has a one touch open and close. So I'm hoping this will last her all year. So that's a really good binder right there. That's for her. Oh, and she needed three packs of disinfecting wipes. So I bought three of these three packs because they all needed wipes. So each one can get, we'll have one of these. These are Lysol. These kill cold and flu viruses. And you can also get Clorox. I mean, there are a bunch of different brands you can get. I just always get Lysol because the Clorox, Clorox wipes, I don't like them. <laughs> and uh, this is this is what I like. So I just, I don't know. I just grab what I would grab for me. And uh, see what I do. And I'm really glad I have my kids lists too. So I can, I can get their stuff. And whenever they do open house, when I go to open house, I just take everything in and give it to the teacher at open house. That way my kids don't have to lug it in there later. Okay, now that, um, I think, oh, I don't know if this was part of it. This might have been part of her extra stuff. One of the things that she did ask for was a lanyard. So I found this 36 inch lanyard at Walmart. It says that it has a breakaway safe. Oh, I guess that means if it gets pulled on, it will Oh, the, the clasp. Okay, this is the clasp. It's these two little plastic pieces. And I guess if it gets pulled or something, it will, you know, it will break away. It won't choke you or anything. So I got one. It's like black. It's like a black satin right there. So it's, it's not brightly colored. You know, it's not going to stand out or anything. So this is her lanyard right here. And you basically just have a giant lobster claw clasp right here on it and a little ring too like a little key ring kind of thing and this is the this is the clasp right here so this is her lanyard I didn't know she would want one with a pattern or a design on it I figured just going with plain black would be would be a good bet and okay now she did ask for some other items she asked for a water bottle when we were when we were shopping I was looking for a, I wanted to find a purple one but I didn't really see one that I thought would work because at 12, you know, she doesn't want like a little kid's water bottle. They're, you know, they're going to want something a little bit more sophisticated than, you know, the ones for little kids. So I got this one right here. Now this is from Tal, T-A-L, antimicrobial, and it's like a matte black. It has this matte finish to it. And it's, I think it's a good size, you know, it's not little bitty, but it's not, you know, gigantic. It has, here's this little flip top and it has a little handle on it. This is silicone here. It's going to give you a nice grip. This is a flex bottle featuring a flip up silicone straw. Oh, that's cool. Right there. It is a double wall insulated stainless steel water bottle will keep your drink cold for 24 hours. Very nice. So this is her water bottle. I figured there's nothing bright and shiny about it. It's it's just like a matte black. So there's her, her little uh, towel flex bottle. It holds 24 ounces. So that's that's pretty good. That's not bad at all. The one I take for my outdoor exercise class I think holds that much I got mine at Aldi but it's it's um it's kind of purple but it's also kind of sparkly and I don't think she would want one like that <laughs> okay um let's see I'm gonna show you what else I got now these are a couple of things I picked up actually today 
Now, it's not something she asked for, um, but I saw them and I feel bad because I, I didn't get much for her that was purple. I couldn't really find anything that was purple. She asked for, you know, she likes purple and black. So I found these socks and I, I don't know. I just thought she would like them. Now they do have some bright colors in them. So maybe not, but they're mostly purple. I mean, I thought they were kind of neat. They're little knee socks, knee high socks. And I thought they were cute. Now again, I, I don't know if she will be interested in these or not. Um, but I got her this pair and she likes things with uh, animals. She likes woodland things and animal things. I don't know if this qual this qualifies, but I found these purple socks with little hedgehogs on them. And I just thought they were cute and they're kind of purple. These are also knee high socks. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just, I thought she would like these little purple socks with the hedgehogs on them. And then the toes and the heels are pink. But when you're wearing your shoes, that's not going to show. And they're not super bright. I mean, they're purple though. I was happy to just find, you know, a couple of things that were sort of purple. So I, I don't know. I'm just going to throw that in there. And I also picked up these socks. Now these are, these are, these are ankle socks right here and they're from Justice. They're Justice sport socks, but they're kind of dark. You see, except, well that, Ooh, I like that pair. Look at that. And these are pretty too. Now they have blue in them, but then there, there are two pairs in here that are just plain black socks, but they're not super brightly colored or anything. So I got her this pack of Justice ankle high little ankle socks for her. So there's that. Oh, and a lunchbox. She did ask for a lunchbox. And we got her a lunchbox. This is a little, just a plain black, a plain black lunchbox from Arctic Zone. An insulated lunchbox. It also has, looks like it has microban to reduce bacteria. And it also comes with a high performance ice pack. Very nice. It, well, it has a little plastic thing on it so you can't unzip it. But here you can see, and I can feel the weight. I mean, I can tell there's something in here. There's a little ice pack in here as well. And the, the handle has a Fastex buckle and plastic on it. On here, and it's just a basic little lunchbox, but it's not brightly colored. It's black, you know, it's just like a good, I think it's a good size. I think that's good. Um, there's nowhere on here to put a water bottle, but I don't know if she would want that anyway. But so here is her little lunchbox and the handle has a bit of padding in it as well. A little padding in it right there. These little zipper pulls are a light blue, but I mean, it's, it's the best I could do for it. Like it's just like a dark plain lunchbox. So there's her lunchbox there. She asked for some pants. Okay, she wanted some pants, shorts, and shirts. I realized something. I was looking through the girls' clothes. There were, I couldn't find anything purple. I went to several different stores and it was hard to find anything in purple. I found tons of pink and bright colors, lots of pink. She doesn't like stuff like that. She doesn't like brightly colored stuff. She likes purple and black. I was able to find some stuff in black though. Now the shorts are gonna be gym shorts. So I got two, this is a two pack of black shorts here. These are just basic pull on shorts. And it's a pack of two but they're both black here and that will work for gym class and they fold up really small that I mean like that's two pairs right there so I got some black shorts and this actually will be a little bit more useful on over in the fall not right now so much but I found a plain black long sleeve shirt 
And these are great because you can layer them and wear them with all kinds of things. I love shirts like this. It has a jewel neckline to it. So it's really, you can wear this with anything. So I got her that. And for pants, I got her two pairs of pants. Now, none of these kids have like a school uniform or, or SMOD, S-M-O-D, standard mode of dress. They don't do that. Their schools don't have a, a uniform policy. That was really popular here about 10 years ago. And then it seems like it's all just kind of gone away. I don't really know if, well, there are some schools here that still have the uniforms. Um, most of them don't, though. Most of them have kind of moved away from that. So I found this pair. Um, now, these are just pants. These are not jeans. They are just like, they're kind of like uniform pants. Um, but they're black. And they're just, they're slacks. So I got a pair of black slacks here with a flat front to them. And I also got a pair of black jeans here. So we have a pair of black jeans as well. And then she really likes um, Star Wars. And I did find her a little a shirt. Got her a little shirt that I thought she would like. <laughs> I got her this little t-shirt. I don't know. I just thought she would like the little the little Star Wars t-shirt. <laughs> the back it's sort of like a, a gray bluish grayish color. So I'm gonna give her that too. Okay. Let's see. Oh, and shoes. She needed shoes. Now mom prefers mom the the mom likes sketchers. So for all of the kids I got sketchers shoes and I have a pair here for her I haven't looked at them yet these are Skechers stretch fit with air-cooled memory foam practically seamless breathable all-day comfort contours to most foot shapes right here so we're gonna take a look at these shoes Now they're solid black. These are Skechers. Oh, they're so light. Oh, they're so lightweight. These are nice. Look at the soles. These are nice. I like these. These are neat. So I wanted, I just wanted to stick with just either, I wanted to find something either in purple and black or just plain black. And all of the shoes I could find that had purple in them also had like pink and silver and just neon. And I decided to just go with these plain black ones right here. Let's see. So these are her shoes. Look at these. These are nice. They look like they'd be really comfortable. So yeah, here are her shoes. These are neat. I like them. They have this interesting, I guess this is stretchy fabric on these shoes. I don't know. That's cool though. So those are the shoes. Oh wow. This top up here is also stretchy. I see what they mean about the seamlessness of it. I get it now. And you have these little tabs back here where you can pull them on. This part right here. It's, it is. It's like it's seamless. That's interesting. These are neat. Okay, I'm going to put these back. The next thing I have, we're going to take this out and look at it. Okay, she wanted a, um, she wanted a comforter for her bed. She has a full-size bed. Um, 
and I looked and looked on Amazon and I found this one and I got it it's actually quite heavy I'm gonna fold it out and show it to you it's a giant she loves owls she loves anything with owls on it it's an owl but I realized after I got it I'm looking at it going why is it so thin it's a duvet cover so I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do I haven't gotten it yet but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get like just a plain black comforter to put under the cover because this is not enough this is not gonna keep her warm I want to look at it this is cool now this I ordered on Amazon it comes with pillowcases I didn't I didn't see that it came with pillowcases oh nice look it comes with matching pillowcases Ooh. we get two two pillowcases oh my god those are awesome so here you have the pillowcases and again you'll note it's a nice dark color it has an owl on it I love it I looked at so many comforters on Amazon but when I saw this I, I said that's it that's it got to get that one so that's the pillowcases and then we have the the duvet cover of course it's gonna be kind of big but we're gonna try to look at it Ooh. oh my gosh look at that eyeball ghoul that's massive Are you sure this is a full size? This choker's huge. You can cover up Connecticut with this thing. My stars. Sorry. Yeah, we're definitely, I'm gonna have to definitely get it. I think I'll just get like a plain Comfort, it looks like a plain black comforter to go under it because yeah this is this is just a duvet cover I wish I had seen that but honestly even if I had seen that I would have still gotten it I would have said I'll get that and get and get a comforter or like a black uh, duvet cover or something to go under it or a black duvet spread you know what I mean can you I can't see what you can see This is gonna look amazing on the bed. Oh my gosh. It freaked me out personally. I don't think I'd want a big owl staring at me from my bed, but it's not for me, so. <laughs> I love it and it feels nice. This is really, it's really soft. and sort of like has a nice slick feel to it. I like the fabric. But yeah, this is our giant owl. Okay, so she gets this and a, I'm just going to get like a black, like a plain black comforter to go under it. And we'll even have, there would be matching pillowcases. Nice. Okay. So there's that. Oh, and she needed a backpack. So looking at backpacks, I wanted to try to find one in purple and black. And I found one. It's still in this plastic. But look, look at that pretty purple. I don't know if you can see it. It's in this, it's like a Ziploc bag. This is from somebody I don't know who made it these people I, don't know. I was mainly looking at the color Let's see here we have this nice well I guess it's more of a gray than a black but this is a nice bag it has padding on the back of course you have your adjustable straps 
I think there's even a pocket on the inside for a laptop if you need to take a laptop with you, which most kids these days do. Mine do. They have a, a school laptop that they have to take to school every day. And yeah, so both of my kids have to have something to carry the laptop in. So yeah, this one I thought was good. It's a good size. It's purple. It's actually more, like I said, it's more like a purple and gray, but I just, I love the purple in this. It's so pretty. It's like a nice dark purple. And of course you have the handle up here and this is made out of ripstop fabric. So it should be really good and durable. This should be a good backpack. And we have little pouches here and here on the sides. I also noticed that this product also has a charging uh, port. It has a USB charging cord to it. This was in there. So in here, yeah, in here, this is the laptop sleeve in here. Here's the cord. And here's the little, little charger port. That's awesome. And for each of the kids, I mentioned this before, I thought it would be fun for each of the kids to put a little surprise inside each one of their backpacks, something that they would like. Well, Miss Aubrey likes to draw. She does pencil drawings. I don't know what kind, but I know she does pencil drawings. So to go in her backpack, I have something for that. First, I have a sketch pad from You Create with a nice dark cover. This is premium drawing paper with a spiral on it, spiral binding. Perforated sheets, they are acid free and there are 75 sheets in here. So we're going to put this inside the backpack. Also, I got a set of pencils here. Now, I don't know if she does like manga and drawings. I don't know. That was just part of it. We have, oh, it's actually a manga drawing set, but I was mainly getting it for the pencils and stuff. Even if she doesn't do that kind of drawing, I thought she could use the pencils and stuff in here. So you get um, a drawing set with a little eraser here. And so I'm going to put that with her sketch pad inside. Now she didn't ask for this. So when she opens her backpack, this is just going to be a little extra something for her to find in there. And the other two will have stuff as well. So I think that I think that's everything for for Miss Aubrey. So hopefully that will at least get her started and, and be a good start on everything that she's going to need as she goes into the seventh grade. I really hope so. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you have a great day and I will see you again soon.